Close your eyes and breathe easy. Think of the breath as being refreshment. It's a kind of food for the body. And so breathe in a way that feels refreshing. It's good for the body, good for the mind, because the mind needs a good place to stay. Otherwise it goes wandering around, exposed to the heat, exposed to the rain, exposed to the wind, strangers, all kinds of things. And if it doesn't have a good place to stay, you know, who knows what's going to happen to it? It's going to suffer. So create a good place right here. It is something you can create. You don't just watch the breath any old way. You want to study the breath, get to know it. Here's this element in the body, this property of the body that is so close to us and it can do so much for us, and yet for the most part we don't take, the, take advantage of it, hardly pay any attention at all. So give it some attention. And as with a child, you give it attention, it begins to blossom. It begins to show you things that you wouldn't have suspected were there. But it has to be kindly attention. Some people clamp down on the breath and make it very uncomfortable as they try to focus on it. See if you can maintain a focus that feels easy, light, spacious, but steady. That's one of the skills of meditation. It's a good quality to have. If you can concentrate on the breath in this way, then you can concentrate on other things in that way as well. You can stay concentrated on things that are worth knowing, worth looking at, worth watching, and not get tired out from the focus. When people teach tracking in the wilderness, they say you have to have a focus that they call scattershot. In other words, you're aware all around. You're fully aware right here, but you're not focused on any one spot in particular. Because things could happen all around. There could be tracks in a place where you're not looking. So you have to be fully present with a wide open awareness, a wide open focus, so that whatever comes into the mind from any direction, you'll see it in time. And wherever the mind is headed to go out from any direction, you'll see that in time as well. So find just the right amount of pressure to maintain your focus, to keep it steady. Not so much that the body feels inconvenienced by it, or the mind feels worn out. Not so light that you float away easily. It has to be just right. We are working on a skill here, and an important part of every skill is the sense of just right. And because it's a long-term skill, try to think of having a marathon runner's attitude. The marathon runner could rush up for a hundred meters, but then wear himself out, wear herself out, and have to drop out of the race. But if you stick with it, stick with it. Get the pace that keeps you going, a pace you can maintain it, and in this case a pace that feels nourishing as well as focused. Then you'll be able to stick with the practice for a long time, however long is necessary.